All right, the staff. Basically, we have to know what a musician writes um, their music on, and to represent those sounds, what do they use? Well, first of all, I'm sure you, you, you know what this is, otherwise you probably wouldn't be interested in this. You know what a note is. Uh, let me write that in different color. So a note, which kind of looks like this, is a is it, is it a, is a symbol to use to represent sound to represent someone's calling me hmm right and and what do musicians write on well they write they write on a on a special piece of paper that has lines on it. Okay, I guess that uh, doesn't sound too spectacular. But uh, hang on, let me show you. Bam. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the the the, the notes are, are placed on a series of, as you can see, horizontal lines. Uh, five horizontal lines called a staff. The number of lines on a staff should be counted from the bottom up. Um. So the first line is called the inferior line. Inferior. And let's count up. Three, two, <laughs> one, three, two, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So the fifth line, the top line, is called the superior superior um, the spaces are also counted in the same manner so you also have you also have um, one two three four spaces so um, it can be therefore stated that a staff is composed of five lines and four spaces but the position, I mean, it has to matter where the note is in the line. The position of each note determines the pitch. This is what they call the pitch of the... Um, so the pitch equals the relative position of each... each note on the staff. So the higher the note is placed on the staff, the higher the sound. The lower the note is placed on the staff, the lower the sound. So basically the trend of pitch goes like this. Notes that are written above or below the staff are separated and distinguished by what are called ledger lines. See, you're not just limited to these five lines and four spaces. I mean, if you need a note a little bit higher, a little bit below, uh, below um, you can add ledger lines. And I guess this basically comes from the concept of a grand staff, which maybe we'll talk about later. But, um, yeah, let's say you have maybe a ledger line. You can draw one here, maybe another one up here, up here. So you have one, two, three spaces, one, two, three lines. Maybe you want to draw another ledger line here maybe two here and either way right you, you can put so you can start putting notes you can put one in here put one on this line so you, you get the point but these these little lines right here these little lines are called ledger ledger lines And I kind of want to stop here. Okay, well, I mean, in, the, in the next video, I'll probably go over the uh, treble and bass clef. Who knows? All right, thanks, and uh, see you next time.